A lot of people have been asking me how and why I started. Well, imagine a foreign trained doctor or healthcare staff in Asia in the middle of Tokyo. A young doctor with dreams as big as the world, jetting off to Japan to dive firsthand into a bustling realm of medicine. Fast forward through countless trials and failures and sometimes little triumphs, I was faced with every question you can possibly imagine both for myself and from others. And I'm pretty sure you might be asking yourself right now those same questions. Can I work in Japan as a foreign trained doctor? What does it take for me to work? How do I get to residency in Canada? Can I convert my home country license to working directly in the United States? How do I even get a job while preparing for my licensing exams? What is the process of licensing exams? Who should I reach out to? What is the accrediting body? While responding to these, I thought on how can I use my journey to uplift and empower others? Join me on a whirlwind adventure from the street of Japan to the shores of Canada as I share the highs, the lows and everything in between of life as an immigrant doctor. I promise you, if you subscribe watching this, type I subscribe or ask your question and I will get to respond to you personally. At the very end, I will give you the number one reason for starting this YouTube channel. So please watch right up to the end as you don't want to miss that. If you're watching this, chances are you've stumbled upon my channel in search of answers, advice, or maybe just a glimpse into the life of a healthcare professional navigating new territories. So after training and moving out of my home country, it was a brand new world and everything seemed different. Let me rewind a bit. Picture a young doctor, I've worked for a couple of years and I'm back in a journey to Japan, eager to immense myself in the world of medicine. Fast forward a few years later, I found myself knee deep in the intricacies of running large scale clinical trials, tackling challenges and soaking in knowledge like a sponge. But as I delved deeper into my career, something unexpected happened. I started receiving lots of questions from other fellows who were wondering how and where I had the opportunity to be able to do some of the things that I was doing, like running large clinical trials, including almost 70,000 participants around Southeast Asia. They were also seeking guidance, advice, sometimes just a listening ear. And that's where it hit me. And I started to share my inside experiences, the opportunities and the advantages that are out there. I was so armed with a passion for helping others and a desire to make a difference. So I started this YouTube channel. I'm sharing tips on acclimating to life as a, an immigrant healthcare professional in Japan, to demystifying the world of clinical trials. I've been on a mission to empower and inspire healthcare professionals around the globe and encouraging people always not to listen to the dummy stories, not to keep themselves back saying it's hard, it's time consuming, I can't do it, but to focus on the goals, to look at the overall success and the crown that they will receive after they persevere for a short time. But the story doesn't end there. As life often does, it threw me a curveball and I found myself packing my bags once again, this time bound for the great white north, Canada. And you better believe I brought my passion for helping others along for the ride. So I said, buckle my back, I moved and I started working as the Associate Director of the Impact Team at the University of Calgary, where I continued my dream in terms of running clinical trials and helping in the medical space in a large scale format. So sharing expertise was really one of the main things that really drive me. Imagine the thrill of stepping out of the hospital walls to educate, inspire, and connect with other world-class healthcare professionals and medtech professionals who are eager to learn and who are looking for other opportunities in different parts of the world. And one of the main reasons was to encourage, to let people know that they don't have to listen to the failures, what people are preaching on the internet to say it's hard, it's difficult. If you see anyone that has dared to succeed, look at Steve Jobs, look at Elon Musk, Jay Bezos, anyone that has succeeded, they had to go out of their comfort zones in order to make it worthwhile. And that's the same thing I do encourage. Please, let's get out of our comfort zone, work hard, because if you want a different result, then we wouldn't do the same thing as others are doing. If we do the same thing, we we'll expect the same results. If we act differently, we'll get different results. One of the other reasons why I started this platform was to advocate for change and concerns faced by healthcare professionals who immigrate from one part of the world to another and they face different challenges. It could be culture, 
It could be getting integrated into the different health systems in different countries. It could be how to get licensing to practice in the new home countries. On this platform, we have shared different opportunities that existed like connecting all healthcare professionals with hiring directors such as those of Pfizer Health in British Columbia, Vancouver, and lots of other opportunities have been shown on this platform in terms of if you want to get a job, things that you can do on this site in order to continue to take care of yourself while you pursue your dreams and getting licensing because the licensing process is complex. And not only limited to that, we have also talked a lot about a licensing process, long, tedious and difficult journey of foreign trained healthcare professional integrating and working in the new healthcare system in their new home country, particularly in Canada. And through this IMG abroad, we've been able to build a community, a community of doctors, nurses, med techs, all healthcare professionals and allied healthcare that come together to support and help each other sharing information, helping in terms of immigration issues, connecting candidates with the appropriate mentors, with the right immigration support team, fostering the sense of belonging and sharing our experiences has been one of the things that have drive us and made us positive in this journey. And on IMG Abroad, we continue to foster that and to put the needs of all healthcare professionals moving into Canada as our top priority. One of the reasons why I also started this was to empower others to know that they can do it and that the journey might seem long, complex, tedious, time consuming, very costly, but that the reward at the end is really great. If you've seen a country that you like and you think you can strive and you can make it out there, please do not shy away take the balls, go to that country, work super hard, and don't get discouraged. The majority of immigrants come to Canada, we have resources that we can support you. If we cannot support you directly through the IMG team, we have people that we can connect you to and that these people can support you and help you. All you need to do is just reach out to us through our email and we'll be able to connect you to the right staff. We'll look for the fit for you. One of the reasons why I also started this was to have access to a global reach, to embrace opportunities to transcend borders and languages, to connect with a diverse audience of immigrant doctors across the continent, to reach out to several healthcare practitioners and nurses who are around the world and who are the number one frontliners, connecting with them, listening to their stories, sharing their stories and inspiring people around the world is one of those very intricate and important situations where I really wanted to deal with. Reflect resilience and adaptability in every evolving digital world. One of the reasons of starting this platform was to inspire future generations, to not get discouraged, to not look at trends like in other videos where I give advice in terms of newcomers when you come to Canada, the things that they should do and the things that they shouldn't do. One also very important reason for starting this platform was in terms of networking opportunities. There's lots of opportunities, but people have very little access to. Consider the vast networking opportunities through this platform we've been offering to candidates. We've been able to have one-on-one -on -one chats and collaborations with people who need our support, with physicians, nurses, healthcare professionals, allied health care professionals all around the world who need help and who wanted to move to either Canada, the US or the, or the countries to Japan. And we orient, guide, support them, link them up with friends all around the world and they are able to navigate and they have a person who they can go to and who they can ask questions to in my own personal journey, starting from nowhere to walking and becoming someone that can support, that can I can hook you with other people who can help you. This is really important. And I would like for you to join me on this journey of transformation and innovation as I leverage this platform, not only as a platform of sharing knowledge, but my story resonates far beyond borders, igniting curiosity and passion in every viewer who dares to dream beyond convention. And I wanted to build a legacy and that's why I started this platform. If you've liked the content, please hit like and subscribe. Share this with your community and I'll see you in the next one.